Obviously, it's very unfortunate circumstances, but uh, I believe that the Euro League and the Euro Cup took the took the right decision, considering everything that's going on in the world and um, everyone's health concerns. I think there's a lot uh, more things going on right now that's a lot bigger than basketball. So I, I obviously, I feel that they definitely made the right decision. I mean, I think you got to think about also with the players being off for such a long time and trying to come back to play Euro League or Euro Cup basketball, which is a brand of basketball that outside of the NBA, in my opinion, I don't think there's a quality of basketball that plays at this level. So uh, to try to come back and continuously to play at that high level, I don't think the, the basketball that would be put on the floor by, our, by these players and teams, um, I don't think it would be of the quality of the name of, of Euro League or Euro Cup. So I think taking that into consideration as well is a, another good factor to, to not finish the season. We all play bad. We love to play the game of basketball. I think that's what we, we as players love to do and also to play at a high level. But the aspect of having empty gyms, it's, it's really sad, obviously, because when you think about European basketball or European sports, I think the fans and the arenas is what, what separates it from any other sport or any other atmosphere around the world. I think that's one thing and one quality that, that we have is the atmospheres that the fans really bring to, to the game of basketball here. So to have sports and empty gyms is definitely going to be a, a weird thing when we do return to play. Hopefully, most and foremost, they just understand um, that this is just obviously an unprecedented time, a difficult time for everybody as well, I'm sure, as they're going through difficult times. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of players and myself feel that we could bring some joy to them by being able to play on the court. But Obviously, it's just a difficult time for everybody. Us, even as players, are going through difficult times with being away from our families and our families are going through, going through things as well. So most things, the best thing I can say to them is to stay strong, stay, stay vigilant during this time, and October will be here before we know it. During times like this, uh, it's really important that we kind of lean on each other and we have each other there to lift us up during times where things are just uncertain and when you just don't know. Um, so it's very important that we stick together that we be there for each other, not only emotionally, especially mentally, because you never know what people are going through mentally, what kind of battles they could be, be battling. They may not show it on the surface, but what can really be inside. So it's very important just to be there, just to, to even if you can, I mean, obviously you can't put your arm around anybody right now, but you can definitely lend an open ear and be there to talk and, and, and do simple things like Zoom calls or FaceTime with people and check on them and make sure they're doing okay mentally.